Tom Nappy here, and we are joined by director of the Hopkinton Center for the Arts, Kelly Grill. Kelly, how are you? I'm great, Tom. How are you? Doing well. Can't complain. I like that you're sitting outside the center. That's awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> I got the chair set up on the uh, nice grass area. It's a nice <laughs> day outside, so why not? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, tell us about what's going on at the HCA. I understand you have some classes available, some summer classes coming up and a whole lot of events. It seems like things are just about in full swing at the HCA. Yeah, it, it's, it's starting to feel like that. It's starting to feel like we're sort of slowly coming back to life. It's uh, all with, you know, cautious precautions, but, um, you know, with the sunshine is coming uh Coming some some events. Yeah, we have uh, all of our summer programs are up and for people to sign up for workshops and and uh, week long um, programs to be in. And we also are starting uh, to see slowly um, some more events happening. Like well, the one that we're having this week is recorded um, and people can see it online. <clears throat> Stanley and Grimm is coming for St. Patrick's Day. And then uh, our first sort of in-person concert will be for Mother's Day. We're going to have uh, an ama amazing jazz uh, quartet here for a jazz brunch for Mother's Day. That is terrific. And you have an event called uh, Celtic Concert with Stanley and Grimm coming up on St. Patrick's Day, as you mentioned, March 17th at 7.30 p.m. Uh, can you talk about this event and about the performers and what to expect? Absolutely. So they're incredible performers. They've been they've been uh, together for a number of years now. Nikki Engstrom is an amazing fiddler. She actually won many competitions. She's originally from Canada. Uh, and Sean uh, Bergman is uh, from the Boston area. He's played in guitar in lots of um, local pubs and also um, also traveled, you know, through all the festivals, Irish festivals. They met. They're both actually songwriters are going to perform some of their original songs. But what's really awesome about it, it's really fun, is that you, you just can't sit still when you listen to the music. It's beautiful. They they uh, played for us and the um, in, they'll be playing, or will be playing, have played for us in the performance center. So the sound is, is really awesome in there. Um, and we're encouraging people to support local businesses, you know, get out to 20, um, start line and get your beer, uh, maybe order some corned beef, from Cornell's, uh, have uh, have your uh, boiled dinner there for you and uh, sit down and enjoy a, a great concert on St. Patrick's Day. So this will be through Zoom? Actually, um, it, it'll be streamed, you'll get a link, but it'll be streamed live on our um, on our website, website, a private link. So it'll be a higher quality uh, viewing experience, but you can get a ticket uh, on our website and you'll get the link to to view the concert uh, just before 7.30. Terrific, and uh, this weekend, you also have an event for kids, a uh, children's concert with Stacy Peasley on Sunday, March 14th at 3 p.m. Uh, can you talk about this event and will this also be a virtual type event? It is a virtual event, it is free. It is sponsored by Middlesex Bank. They've been incredible sponsors of our children's series. And Stacey Peasley is well known in the area as an amazing children's performer. Um, people can, um, they just need to reserve uh, their tickets so they get the link, but they will get a link um, uh, to watch this virtually. And she's very popular. Um, people really love uh, Stacey's concert. So hopefully we'll see a good turnout for that. That's terrific. And uh, you have some uh, summer classes that will be available and all kinds of different things for the kids. Uh, can you tell us about the programs going on this summer and when they will start? Yes, just right after school ends, we have programs in, in all of the arts, visual art, uh, theater, music, dance. Um, we even have a movie making uh, camp that's pretty popular. So, um, you know, all of our standards are coming back with a few, few new uh, exciting programs. We have a, a really great uh, summer jazz intensive. Um, our da dance program has continues to expand and offer more things. So, so we're very excited to come back. We're gonna be doing a lot of the camps outside again, like we did last year. So we'll have tents set up and, and tables outside. We have a 
ionizer in our center so that will clean the air as it's coming through um, and take out, uh, I think it's 98% of any kind of bacteria that comes through and you know, still using all um, COVID protocols. But we are hopeful that come this summer um, with many more vaccines and, and, and things progressing that um, we'll be seeing a summer a little bit more back to normal. That's great. And I was just about to ask you, when do you think uh, there'll be some in-person events uh, in this center? And you, you kind of answered the question right there, hopefully this summer, as you said. Yeah, so we actually have, a, have planned and are ready to announce, you'll be the first to know, Tom, that we're going to have uh, a summer art series that has rivaled anything that we've done uh, before. Every Friday and Saturday night at the center in the amphitheater, we'll have some kind of event, music, uh, there'll be concerts, there'll be theater. We have an outdoor sculpture exhibit as well as uh, an indoor uh, exhibit by um, granddaughter of Matisse. And we also have um, a couple of salsa dance nights all outside. We want people to come and learn how to salsa. So we want, it's a, a summer arts, but we're also going to be encouraging and, and partnering with um, local restaurants and, um, and businesses and really um, celebrate us all sort of coming out and coming back together again. That is wonderful. And we're glad that you uh, revealed this here on uh, HKM News. I'd say it's the perfect time for it. Uh, well, Kelly, thank you so much for taking time to talk with us today. And we are looking forward to all these great events coming up at the Hopkinton Center for the Arts. Thanks so much, Tom.